Earlier this year, I was privileged to meet and interview a doctor named Daniel Newsom. Some of this information that he's about to share is going to blow your socks off. Check it out. Talk about the uh, relationship of fulvic acid, okay, as I think a compost, okay, as as compost breaks down, okay, it ends up in this black soil, okay. That's good stuff. Product, good stuff. And the reason it's good stuff is that decomposition. You took fifty pounds of waste, okay, and it decomposed down to five pounds, let's say, of soil. What you have there in that soil is the nutrition of 50 pounds of waste, all concentrated down into that soil. What we do is we take that and we extract fulvic acid. Now, fulvic acid is the, the absolute smallest of particle of, of that compost, if you will, okay? It has all the genetic information, all of the nutrition, all of the antioxidant capacity, okay. Fulvic acid, the molecule of fulvic acid has 14 tetratrillion electrons it can donate. Tetratrillion? <laughs> Tetra that's 21 zeros behind 14. It's That's a number you can't fathom. It, it's, it's unfathomable. It, one molecule has that many electrons to donate. It's and that's one of the problems with, with uh, free radicals. Sure. It's, it is a free radical quencher. And it's so so tiny that it works on the outside of the cell, works on the inside of the cell, and works on the, the various components of the cell. Most importantly, it works in the mitochondria, the generator of the cell, the power generator for the cell, okay? In the Krebs cycle, the energy cycle that the, the mitochondria has to go through to produce cellular energy, ATP, um, carbohydrate is split, okay? You have a carbon and hydrogen bond that is split Okay, and when that happens, energy is released in the mitochondria produce ATP. ATP goes out to the rest of the cell. The cell does it, its job. Problem is, when that happens, you have a carbon f fragment and a hydrogen fragment. Okay. And oh, those are called free radicals. Okay, we call them cellular debris, free radicals. In essence, it's kind of like if you had a wood stove and you burnt wood in there for a week and never clean the ash out, mm -hmm. eventually the wood's full of ash and you can't burn anything. Yep. That's what happens with our cells and causes them to die. Okay, They have so many fragments of, of nutrients floating around in them that it, it, it snuffs the, the cell out. It can't burn anymore. Okay. Okay? It can't metabolize anymore. Um, fulvic acid goes into the cell and can convert all of those fragments of nutrients back into nutrition. Wow. It's some cool stuff. <laughs> That's very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. I've never heard of that before. And nothing else does that is, is the thing. So we can, it's an anti-aging agent, okay? It's an antioxidant agent. Um, it's a, a, f a molecule that will carry electricity, okay? So it, it acts as an electrolyte in your cell without minerals. It's one of the, it's a, it's a, a phenomenon. It is. <laughs> it's a phenomenon. And when you're, when you're, you're feeling tired, okay, when you're tired and you're, you're just ran down, you just don't have a lot of energy, mm -hmm. on a cellular level, your cells aren't carrying an electrical charge very well. So if we can recharge the battery, quote unquote, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you have energy again. You know, things start functioning the way they should. They have, they have the electricity to operate, okay? And our bodies are electric. They're electric, exactly. Um, now, this whole function here of, you know, enhancing the electrical capacity, uh, converting free radicals back into nutrition is all wonderful, but fulvic acid also acts as a, uh, a delivery system, okay? When you, you can bond nutrients to fulvic acid and it will deliver those nutrients. It's a, it's a nanomolecule. It's a micro nanomolecule actually. It's smaller than nano. <laughs> okay. Therefore, it crosses all barriers in the body. Blood brain Blood barrier, brain barrier everything. Okay. Everything. And it can carry nutrients to whatever tissue, whatever cells, you know, wherever you need them to go. Um, 
deliver the uh, nutrients. The interesting thing about it, though, is once it delivers the nutrients, <clears throat> it will take the waste or heavy metals or pesticides or you name it, anything that the cell doesn't want or anything that's harming the cell, mm. pick that up, it'll bond that, el that, let's say, mercury to fulvic acid and carry it out of the system. Okay, so you get this exchange that happens there. So it, I tell everybody it acts as the UPS man and the garbage man at the same time. <laughs> wow. Know, delivers its package, picks up yeah. the garbage, and takes it out. So when it comes to the cancer, cancer cells are very, have very low electrical activity. So if we can raise their electrical activity, which fulvic acid does, we kill them. We kill the... It, high electrical activity kills um, cancer cells. Here's everyone in history that had cancer at the moment they were hit by lightning, everyone that survived lightning strikes that had had cancer didn't have cancer after they were hit by lightning. No kidding. No kidding. Across the board, every cancer patient that because that electrical went, energy that killed electrical the cancer. energy killed the cancer. And so that's what right fulvic out. acid does. Fulvic acid has that electrical that, that electrolyte capacity to raise the electrical activity in the cells, and it destroys cancer cells that way. And everything just happens faster. We mm -hmm. can get them well faster with the fulvic acid.